Hey everyone, welcome back to Robo Request. You ask, we build. Today's project brings together ESP32's touch magic and sound creativity. We are building a touch-sensitive piano using just your fingertips and a buzzer. Just tap on the ESP32's beam and bring Sa Re Ga Ma Pa Dha Ni to life. No keys, no external buttons, just capacitive touch sensing build right into your ESP32. Now this tutorial came out of the request from our brilliant community supporters, Innovative and More and Samir Mook. Now got your own creative concept? Drop it in the comments. Your project could be the next. Let's start. What I will need? One ESP32 dev board, one buzzer, jumper wires, breadboard, micro USB cable. Let's wear it up. Take the breadboard and ESP module, insert the buzzer in the breadboard, connect the long leg of the buzzer that is positive to GPIO 25 of the ESP32, connect its short leg that is negative to GND. For the touch input, we are using 7 dedicated capacitive touch pins of the ESP32. We can use male to female jumper wires for each of these touch pins and just leave the free end exposed to touch. T3 that is GPIO 15 for SA, T4 that is GPIO 13 for RE, T5 that is GPIO 12 for GA, T6 that is GPIO 14 for MA, T7 that is GPIO 27 for PA, T8 that is GPIO 33 for DHA, and T9 that is GPIO 32 for NI. Now please double check the wiring according to the circuit diagram before proceeding. Now download the code file given in the description below. Open the code file if you have already downloaded the Arduino IDE, otherwise download the Arduino IDE first. First we begin by mapping the touch pins to their respective node nips. Each T pin on the ESP32 corresponds to a capacitive touch pin. We are naming them based on the musical nodes. Sa, Re, Ga, Ma, Pa, Dha, Ni, which are connected to specific GPIO pins. Next we define the buzzer pin. This is where our buzzer is connected, GPIO25. It will play different sounds when a touch is detected. Now we define a threshold value. This number determines how sensitive the touch sensor is. If the value from touch read function is lower than 30, we consider it a valid touch. Then we define the frequencies of each musical note. Each of these corresponds to a specific pitch in Hertz. When a touch is detected, we'll play these frequencies on the buzzer. Now in the setup function, we begin with serial.begin function. 115200 is used to monitor values in the serial monitor. This is helpful for debugging. We also set the buzzer pin as an output because we want to send signals to it, not read from it. Now comes the magic logic, which is the loop. Inside the loop, we check each touch pin one by one using touch read function, touch sa reads the current value from the pin. If it is less than the threshold, it means someone touched it. So we call. Now this function plays the corresponding node using the tone function. We do the same check for each node. Now if no pin is being touched, we stop the sound. This ensures the buzzer doesn't keep playing once you lift your finger. At the end of the loop, we add. This adds a small delay of 50 milliseconds to avoid a multiple rapid detections. It acts as a debounce. Finally, the function that actually plays the tone, it uses the built-in tone function to send a sound wave to the buzzer at the given frequency. And that's it. Now plug your USB 32 into your computer using the USB cable. Select board ESP32 dev module, then port and check which COM port your USB is on. Now click the upload button. If it shows connecting dot dot and keeps looping, press and hold the boot button until it starts uploading. Finally, once uploaded, just touch the words and you will hear sweet notes playing one by one. Now imagine turning this into a full-on DIY musical keyboard or even adding LEDs for a light and sound show which each note is touched. You can even add a recording feature or combine it with Bluetooth to make a wireless ESP32 MIDI device. I hope you enjoyed this project. Please hit like, share and subscribe for such more cool DIY tech tutorials with Robo Army.